This is a new picture released by the Dallas Zoo of the two tamarind monkeys safe and back home. That's in contrast to the video we exclusively obtained when they were found Tuesday inside a vacant church in Lancaster. We spoke by phone with the pastor's daughter, Tanya Thomas. It's cold, it's dark. Whoever put the monkeys in there had to have used flashlights or something. They could have died in that house. Church members tipped off police after they saw this picture released by DPD. Detectives didn't call him a suspect, but say they wanted to talk to him after the zoo's surveillance cameras caught him on video the night the monkeys disappeared. People in the neighborhood say they would see him in the neighborhood walking with different animals. So we just kind of thought it may be him. So they call police. Sources say it was 37 degrees inside the church when the monkeys were found. The zoo says they had lost weight but appeared to be okay. Thomas says they were planning to renovate the church but in November someone began breaking into the building and causing damage. He had torn up stuff, rearranged, sectioned off different rooms, um, had animals in different sections of the house. A statement issued by the Association of Zoos and Aquariums says the Dallas Zoo and its animals are victims of acts presumably intended to take animals for personal reason or worse, to be trafficked. Councilwoman Carolyn King Arnold says nearby residents are concerned about the flaws in security. If someone decides to create a scenario that threatens that public uh, with letting an animal out that may endanger their uh, their pets, you know, they, they are concerned. King and the zoo say they have doubled security, fixed fences, added extra Dallas police patrols, and installed more cameras in hopes of preventing anything else from happening. In Dallas, I'm Rebecca Lopez.